and be sure to drop a comment with the state you're from and which candidate has your vote. Can't wait to see where everyone stands. Arizona continues to be one of the most fiercely contested battlegrounds as we approach the election. Trump currently holds a slim advantage, keeping Arizona classified as tilt red. Arizona's legacy of close elections leaves it as a pivotal state, and with Harris's team making a strong final push, Trump will need to rally support to maintain his edge in the coming days. In New Mexico, the landscape is different, with Harris holding a consistent lead of about 7% across polls. Despite some Republican inroads, New Mexico remains lean blue as Democrats work to solidify their hold for future elections. Harris's team aims to expand her lead in this traditionally Democratic state. In Colorado, Harris enjoys a commanding 12-point lead, reinforcing the state's recent Democratic shift. Population growth in urban areas like Denver and Boulder has strengthened Democratic support, positioning Colorado as likely blue for this cycle. In the central U.S., Trump holds substantial leads in Wyoming, Utah, and Idaho, with past election margins of 20 to 40 points. Montana also remains securely Republican, with Trump leading by 17 points, underscoring the state's solid red status. Nebraska's second congressional district stands out, with Harris leading by 11 points, placing it in the likely blue category. While this margin could narrow, the rest of Nebraska, along with the Dakotas, Kansas, and Oklahoma, are firmly in the Republican column. In Texas, long a Democratic target, Trump currently leads by 6.5%, slightly improving on his 2220 margin. Texas is classified as lean red for now, though Harris's team is closely monitoring demographic shifts for potential gains. The Senate race adds another layer of interest, with Democrat Colin Allred posing a serious challenge to Republican dominance. In Alaska, Trump holds a comfortable lead, making the state a likely win for him. Meanwhile, Harris is strongly positioned in Hawaii, where Democratic loyalty ensures it remains solidly blue. In the Midwest, a crucial region for both campaigns, Harris needs to secure Minnesota, her running mate's home state, along with Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, the essential blue wall states. These states are central to her path to victory, especially given Trump's success in flipping all three in 2016. Polling across the Midwest shows tight contests, marking it as a key battleground likely to shape the election's outcome. Harris currently leads by 5.9% in Minnesota, which despite a slight dip remains lean blue due to its longstanding Democratic record since 1972. The state's strong Democratic base, combined with Harris's steady support, suggests it will stay in her column. In Iowa, Trump is favored to win, reflecting his previous victories in 2016 and 2020 when he won the state by substantial margins. With limited polling data available, Iowa is classified as lean red, but remains a state to watch for any last minute shifts. Illinois continues to show a solid lead for Harris, who is currently ahead by 18 points, placing the state firmly in the solid blue category. Indiana, on the other hand, is expected to favor Trump heavily, with a double-digit lead in line with past results, making it a likely win for him. In Ohio, Trump leads by 8%, though his margin has narrowed slightly compared to previous elections. Ohio, along with Iowa, was once a Democratic stronghold, but has shifted firmly to the GOP in recent cycles. This trend is underscored by the strong re-election victories of Ohio and Iowa's Republican governors in 2022, keeping Ohio classified as likely red. Turning to Wisconsin, Harris currently leads by two points in this new Marist poll, a critical advantage in this notoriously unpredictable state. With high turnout expected in Milwaukee County, her slight edge keeps Wisconsin in the tilt blue category, though its final outcome remains tough to predict as both campaigns heavily target this swing state. In Michigan, Harris holds a three-point lead in the latest Marist poll, placing the state in the lean blue category. The recent UAW strike has intensified focus on Michigan's working class voters, a group both campaigns are courting. With 15 electoral votes at stake, Michigan remains a key state for Harris, and her support among labor voters could be decisive as Election Day approaches. In the Northeast, Harris finds solid support, with several states firmly in the Democratic column. Vermont, Connecticut, Delaware, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Maryland, and Washington, D.C., 
are solidly in her favor. Even New Jersey remains in Harris's corner, despite some recent Democratic challenges. Harris maintains a strong lead in New York, where she's ahead by 14 points. The Empire State is considered solid blue for the Democrats at this point. New Hampshire is categorized as lean blue for Harris, with an overall lead of 6.6% in recent polls. Maine, however, presents a more complex picture. Harris leads statewide by about 17 points, but historically, Maine has been more competitive. Clinton won by just 3% in 2016 and Biden by under 10%. While Harris is secure in Maine's first district, the second district continues to lean red due to Trump's strong backing in the past two elections. In the Southeast, Trump's base remains strong across several states. Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama are solidly Republican. Trump holds a 23-point lead in Tennessee and maintains double-digit advantages in Kentucky and West Virginia, ensuring a firm Republican presence in the region. South Carolina remains comfortably red as well, with a likely red designation. Meanwhile, Florida has trended more Republican in recent cycles. Trump's three-point win in 2020 and Ron DeSantis's 20-point margin in the 2022 governor's race reflect this shift. With Trump currently leading by a little over six points, Florida is classified as lean red. However, Harris has been outperforming Biden here, suggesting the margin could tighten as the race progresses. Georgia, with 16 electoral votes, is another key focus in this election. Trump leads by an average of 1.5% in current polls. If Trump wins Georgia, he strengthens his path significantly, flipping both Georgia and Arizona back to red, along with success in other battlegrounds like Pennsylvania, could solidify his victory. For now, Georgia remains in the tilt red category. North Carolina remains a critical battleground, one that Trump has won by 4% in 2016 and a narrower 1% in 2020. Currently, he holds a slim 1.3% lead, putting the state in the tilt red column. Early voting data, however, reveals a close race with nearly 4 million ballots already cast. Republicans lead slightly at 34% to Democrats 33%. With strong turnout among key Democratic demographics, 2024 could present a real opportunity for Democrats to flip North Carolina for the first time since 1976. If this happens, it changes everything and takes Trump's chance of winning to almost zero. Now we have the final two states, and both are extremely important. In Virginia, a state that has consistently leaned Democratic, Kamala Harris appears to be firmly in control this election cycle. Harris leads Trump by 7% overall, with two recent surveys showing her ahead by as much as 11 points. Virginia remains in the lean blue category, and given the state's history of favoring Democrats, it's unlikely to turn into a battleground this cycle. While Republicans may have hoped to make gains here, the numbers suggest Harris is solidifying Virginia as a reliable Democratic state in 2024. Pennsylvania stands as one of the most crucial battlegrounds, with its 19 electoral votes potentially determining the overall election outcome. Harris currently leads by two points according to the latest Marist poll, giving her a slight but significant edge in this high-stakes state. Early voting numbers are promising for her campaign, with nearly 1.7 million ballots already cast, 57% of them from Democrats and 33% from Republicans, demonstrating strong early enthusiasm for her. Classified as tilt blue for now, Pennsylvania remains a pivotal focus for both campaigns, and a win here could solidify Harris's path to victory in the final days of the election. With our electoral map now complete and the final days ticking down, Kamala Harris emerges as the leading contender, poised to secure the electoral votes needed for victory. Record turnout in pivotal swing states has given her campaign a significant boost, solidifying her position not only in contested battlegrounds, but also in some traditionally red areas. Harris's lead in the critical blue wall states highlighted in the Marist polls is likely sending the Trump campaign into a frenzy. With the momentum clearly in her favor, the GOP faces mounting obstacles to shift the race's trajectory, setting the stage for an intense battle as Election Day nears. Keep in mind, this is just a projection based on recent polling data and trends, and things can shift quickly. Make sure to stay informed, check multiple sources, and follow updates as Election Day approaches. Please share this video to remind others not to let up. Every single vote counts. No matter what you hear, 
showing up at the polls is essential. Even if your state feels solidly in one direction, your vote is key in local races that can make an enormous difference in your community, make your voice count and be part of the process. Let me end by quickly explaining the map colors, which indicate the level of confidence and margin of victory in each state. Safe states are projected wins by 15 plus points with little chance of an upset. Likely states are margins between eight and 15 points, fairly secure, but not guaranteed. Lean states are tighter races with a three to eight point margin where the leader is favored, but the outcome could shift. Tilt states are the closest contests with margins under three points, making them true battlegrounds. These colors provide a snapshot of how secure or competitive each state is, offering insight into where candidates are focusing their efforts as election day approaches. Thanks for tuning in.